let's uh, switch now to Brazil because uh, I get the impression in many experts' views that they are firm favourites for this World Cup. But uh, thinking back to 2014, Keith, after Neymar got injured against Colombia, Brazil absolutely fell apart. So they were very reliant on him back in 2014. Uh, do you think they have a better squad now and more leaders? I do, and I think they're also less dependent on Neymar. The coach has come in during the qualification process and he's made it a more rounded approach to the way they go about their business. Mm. There's no doubt Neymar will play a big part. How actually match sharp he is, I think we'll probably know as the games go on. But in terms of the dynamic of the side, very, very cru crucial role for Casemiro in terms of how the team's set up. He's gone about that straight away. He's the key player in terms of letting those attacking players get on with what they do very, very well. It's a settled side, and I've been impressed with the way he's gone about it. What do you think of this uh, Brazilian squad, Didi? Uh, stronger than the 2014 edition? I think they are, and uh, I think it was also uh, maybe the, the, the pressure weighed on them because I didn't like the scenes before the game when they had Neymar's shirt. Um, you know, when the, when the anthems were sung and they pulled up Neymar showed us and showed him and said, we do it for you. You know, Neymar is not playing, so don't worry about Neymar. Yeah. Try to do a job and, and concentrate on what you can do, what you can affect. So I think it was also, a, a, you know, in a way, a sign of immaturity, what they did uh, before the game against Germany, which obviously went uh, very wrong for them. Um, I think Coutinho is a different player now. Yeah. He's, he's, he's really coming to his own at Liverpool and at Barcelona. Firmino had a tremendous season. Then in Casemiro and Fernandinho, they've got two players who, who give freedom to, to these guys. And we shouldn't forget that uh, Thiago Silva was also suspended for the Germany game. Um, and on top of that, and this is why I really like Brazil, an injury cost them probably qualification to the final four years ago when Neymar got injured. Now, Neymar's been injured for the last 10 weeks. Uh, he'd be fresher. You know, yeah. you look at Messi's uh, number of games, you look at Ronaldo's number of games, and he didn't play for 10 weeks. And he seems to be back to full fitness now. And I think he can play a major part, especially when he plays seven games in the latter stages of the tournament that you had a bit of a rest before uh, through injury. And, um, you know, this is why I really like Brazil and I can't wait to see them tonight. Yeah. And there's one thing that stands out really in terms of South American sides. Uh, I mean, we know why Brazil probably carry the favourites tag now, but South American sides have never come to Europe and won the World Cup. But do you think that the issues that caused that in the past, probably a lot of players playing at home and then yeah. coming into Europe didn't fancy it, but that the fact that so many now play in Europe, do you think gives them a better chance? Yes, I do, absolutely. They're so used to travel now. They wear homeboards back they in the were day. big time, yeah. Um, most of them playing in, in their native countries or certainly in South America, whereas now... The best players are obviously spread across Europe. I think the way they prepare for games, and I go back to the way this manager has transformed them halfway through qualification. He's instilled that belief in them. He has got them together. And the biggest thing is they are less dependent on Neymar. So if the worst thing happens and he does pick up an injury, they are missing him. Did he's mentioned the type of players that can come into that equation? Willian, Firmino, who won't probably start great substitutions to come in. Yeah, so they really have extraordinary depth and uh, we look forward to seeing them in action.